Hello, in this series of videos I will be looking at the game console main motherboard. The motherboard connects all the electronic components together. In this video I am going to break down the inner workings of the motherboard. When you understand how a console is powered on, yeah, then it will be easier for you to troubleshoot and repair it. Uh, there are some differences in the architecture, but most game consoles are built upon a few core components. For this video, the Xbox One is used, but this information can be applied to any console out there. This video will provide in-depth information about the standby and power-on sequence of the motherboard. So here you can see the main architecture diagram. Uh, the Xbox One is developed by Microsoft in 2013. Uh, the core components are the main SoC, Southbridge, DRAM, flash memory, optical drive, internal drive. Yeah, that that are the most of the most important components. Uh, well, the SoC in green here stands for a system on a chip. It is a central processing unit of the Xbox. It's a, it is a chip that combines uh, yes different components into a single chip. It also includes a, a CPU, so a central processing unit, a GPU, graphics processing unit, uh, a memory controller, and a node bridge. The SOC is responsible for executing the instructions of the games and applications running on the on the console, and as well as handling uh, different uh, system level functions. Second one, we have the South Bridge. Uh, the South Bridge is uh, another important uh, component. Uh, it is responsible for all the input and output functions. Uh, it also manages the USB, the Ethernet port, uh, audio video output. Uh, the South Bridge chip uh, also provides different system level functions, such as a power management and uh, system security. Uh, the South Bridge is uh, the low speed part of the system, and the SOC is the high speed part of the system. Then we have the eMMC flash memory. Uh, eMMC stands for multimedia controller. Uh, it's a yes, type of storage that is used on the Xbox. Uh, it's a flash memory, so it's uh, soldered direct, directly on the console's motherboard. And this is not removable, so you cannot upgrade it or uh, replace it with another one. Then we have 8 gigabytes of DRAM. This type of memory is used uh, to store temporary data that is actively uh, used by the system and uh, the games that is being played. Uh, it's a volatile memory, which means that it's required a constant, uh, constant, constant supply of power in order to uh, maintain its content. And there are two components, maybe three, uh, that are married to the motherboard, and that means that it's paired to each, the, the components are paired to each other, so they cannot be replaced or swapped out with other components. That is the eMMC flash memory. So if the memory is, is bad or defect, then it's it's a game over. You have a yeah, donor motherboard. If your Blu-ray driver IC is bad, then you also have a, a bad of a no Blu-ray player no more. Um I don't know if the SOC is uh, is married to the motherboard, but the South Bridge is not. So you can you can replace the South Bridge and the DRAM memory without any uh, problem. So uh, here, here you can see the physical image of the SOC. Um, so the SOC uh, stands for a, a system on a chip. It's a single chip that integrates yeah, multiple components. So if you see on the left hand side, all these components are embedded into one single die. The components in these chips are the CPU, the GPU, memory controller, node bridge, uh, video and audio uh, encoders. So basically, this uh, this uh, IC or chip is the brain of the Xbox. Uh, the CPU is responsible for executing all the tasks necessary to run uh, the games. Uh, the GPU is responsible for rendering the graphics and visual effects in games. Uh, the memory controller is responsible for managing the system memory here. It is used to store uh, the game data, application data and other system uh, resources. 
then we also have the yeah the North Bridge and the North Bridge chipset is uh, embedded into this SOC. It is used to uh, uh, send the data from the South Bridge to the SOC. So the data needs to pass through the North Bridge to reach uh, the processor. And uh, yeah, this chip is the most expensive uh, part of the system, and this chip does uh, the heavy work uh, for processing all the different data. So that uh, it pulls the most current or power uh, from the power supply. Here you can see the physical image of uh, Southbridge. So this Southbridge is a custom chip that is designed by Microsoft. Uh, the Southbridge is a low-speed component that manages the input and output of the console. It also communicates with different components via a system serial and parallel parallel interfaces. So um, let's say you when you press the sync power or eject button on the console, uh, this signal will almost go directly uh, to this uh, Southbridge chip. Uh, some of the key components of the Southbridge uh, includes the network uh, network controller. This component manages the network connectivity uh, like Ethernet and uh, Wi-Fi. There is also a audio processor embedded. So the Southbridge includes a digital uh, signal processor that is responsible for the audio processing. Then you have the storage controller. This component uh, manages the storage devices used by the Xbox, like the internal drive, uh, external drives. Uh, you have also the USB uh, controller. It manages all the USB ports uh, that are uh, on the console. You also have a security processor, and that one is uh, responsible for managing the system security functions, like a secure boot, boot or a uh, or the encryption. And then you also have a SMC, and the SMC is called a System Management Controller. Uh, it is responsible for all the input-output uh, operations, like power management, uh, real-time clock, temperature control, LED control, and the infrared sensor. And also, the South Bridge always needs some current to operate. So even in standby mode uh, or in power on mode, uh, the South Bridge always draws some uh, current. The third most uh, important component is the, the NAND chip, also called the EMMC flash chip. EMMC flash memory is used to store the operating system, firmware and other system level software that is needed to run uh, the console. Uh, it's also used to store the game and app installations, the game saves and other user data. So the system updates are stored uh, in, in, the, in this chip, uh, the user land programs, uh, like the splash screen, the dashboard, the media player, etc. Also the console unique information like serial, serial numbers and the region information are also stored in this chip. Uh, the configuration data read by the SMC controller that is in the south bridge. So the configuration data is also stored in this chip. So uh, now you have a general idea how the infrastructure looks like. Uh, we can discuss how the standby and startup power sequence works. Uh, consoles require multiple supply voltages to deliver power to the microprocessor, the GPU, memory, and other on and other onboard devices. Uh, most consoles need uh, a 5 volt and a 12 volt primary power supply, and uh, a lot of bulk or boost converters working off this primary supply uh, to help provide different voltages throughout the, the motherboard. Uh, most consoles have a specific order in which these uh, voltages must be generated to start the correct creation of power rails as they power up. When there is a problem with the, with the game console and there is no picture or the game console immediately shuts off, you should then uh, verify that the order of, of the power sequence is correct and that the, the correct voltages are uh, present. Well, the main causes of a game console not working are a bad uh, hard drive, so you have no picture, uh, a bad HDMI connector or encoder IC, uh, a missing power rail, short circuit somewhere on the motherboard, uh, corrupted NAND or EMMC memory, uh, broken solder joints under, under the PGA chips like the SOC, DRAM, the Southbridge. You could also have a bad memory module. Yeah, in the following videos, we will focus on the creation of the standby and power on power rails needed to boot the game and console in a power on state. So uh, software and signal errors are not part of this video. 
and as you can see here this is the power supply for the xbox one uh, this is the connector and the pins uh, are uh, a ground pin you have a uh, 5 volt standby voltage 12 volt main uh, voltage and a, a enable uh, pin so let's say in standby mode this connector uh, outputs a 5 volt uh, standby voltage um, let's say the enable pin goes into this uh, power supply it is asking for the 12 volts so the enable pin will be uh, high uh, then the power supply will uh, output the 12 volt in the following sheets or videos we will dive deeper into this process